It's 98.7 KISS. Welcome inside of the most relaxing time of the day. And as promised, I told you the brother was coming and he has arrived. It is an honor and indeed a pleasure to welcome our soul legend, Ronald Isley, to Kissing After Dark in the Big Apple. All right. How are you, brother? I'm fine, man. You look and like Thanks for having me here. <laughs> Thanks for having you here. <laughs> no, thanks for coming here. Oh. I really appreciate that in a huge way. Um, how have you been? That's I've been great. I've been you? great, great. You know, I'm, I'm finishing, I, I, I finally finished the album, you know. Yeah. And I just can't wait till uh, the release date of it, you know, which would be November the 30th. Yeah. Well, you know what? I know you've been contemplating this album. I've read some stuff that you were working on an album which is this album, uh -huh. for like, you've been contemplating and thinking about it, who was going to be on it for like three years, am I wrong? Well, you're right. And you've done uh, some good homework. Uh, I'm very curious to find out, like, who you have in your CD changer, who of today that uh, you're going to be featuring on this brand new CD. Yeah, uh, Rita Franklin, uh, Laura Hill, and uh, T.I. T.I.? Of course, T.I. You know, uh, I think... Uh, I don't know, he had some sort of problem. Uh, right. And I hope we'd be able to, to do the, you know, the video together, you know. Yeah, shout out to T.I. Uh, yeah. I know recently, uh, a couple of weeks ago, he uh, he talked someone out of uh, committing suicide. Yeah. And, and, you know, he needs to be commended for those accolades as well. But so do you. I mean, because you have uh, been an inspiration and uh, a sight for sore eyes and an upliftment for so many people over the years. So, again, I thank you for coming here tonight. This entire hour is Brother Isley's hour. So, we're going to uh, play nothing but Isley Brothers and Ronald Isley. Right. So, get back and just sit back and get ready to enjoy this, baby, because it doesn't get any better than this. Ronald Isley, inside of Kissing After Dark. Giving you the best ear candy. Inside of Kissing After Dark with Company, the legendary Ronald Isley is with us. And I hope that's not a disrespect if I no. use the term legendary. Oh, no. But, brother, you, you are definitely one of the true soul architects. Wow. There aren't too many men. And, and you know, you have to understand his demeanor. His demeanor is very humble. There aren't too many men that have uh, spanned decades, seven decades, I counted, that you have been in people's hearts and soul. From the Isaac Brothers' early days, from uh, from the shout of 1959. That's right. <laughs> to most recently. I mean, not too many people can span that decade like that, those decades like that. And I just want to know, how does that make you feel? Blessed, you know, blessed. Good, and the Lord have blessed me to uh, have that period of time to be, you know, and to do and enter entertain people, you know. And I'm blessed, man. And, and I'm thankful for that. The... Uh, the industry, uh, the younger artists these days, has an appreciation, a great appreciation for you. Yes, they do. What do you think they uh, take from you with, that you have given? Probably, and it probably didn't even hit you on what you're doing and how much you're inspiring people. But as I mentioned, you have been an inspiration to many. But what do you think that they're pulling from you in order to take their careers to the next level? You know, I, I'm like... Uh 2010, like starting all over again. Every time uh, we go into the studio or a different year, I, I don't think about th the years before that. I think about I want to be competitive. I want to do things. I want to show off. I want to do, you know, just like just just like the beginning all over again. You know, it's so interesting that you, a man of your magnitude, would go in with that attitude of yeah. you want to be competitive. It's yeah. like almost like. Everyone has to compete against you these days. There you go. I'll be, I'll be trying to keep up, <laughs> keep up, stay in front as long as really? I can. Yes. Look, there's a, there's a couple of cats in this game that, that span the gamut like you. And you one, and I know Uncle Charlie. <laughs> and, and you brothers give these young cats truly a run for their money. But more importantly, they love what you guys do. And, and when all the classic soul artists, which I have full respect for, because it's very important, I think, for those to pay attention of those who have walked before them. Oh, yeah. And who better than a wonderful teacher? His name is Ronald Isley. He is with us tonight. One of my favorite Isley Brothers songs. I'll never forget it. I was sitting in the back row. Almost I could clean, clean the, the, the lights up at the top of the roof of Madison Square Garden. Okay. 
and you did a song called Voyage to Atlantis. Oh, yes. Man, what kind of memories does that bring back for you personally? Well, I love that song. That's a song that when we do a show, we have to have that song. We, I got to do that. If I don't do that song, man, right. uh, the, my fans and the audience will be so disappointed. So uh, we do that in all of our shows. Well, let's take that voyage with uh, Brother Robert Isley tonight and Zada Kiss and After Dark. We'll come back and we'll learn a little bit more about this brand new CD that's coming out in November. Yep, I did say brand new CD. So baby, sit back and enjoy. We're riding tonight inside of Kissing After Dark. Kissing After Dark tonight, Lenny Green holding you down tonight. Thank you for turning me on tonight. We have great company. The man is here. If you get a chance to look at any of the video that we're shooting today, you will see how wonderful this cat is. I'm just trying, just trying to stay in that circle, just trying to get in the cut. But Brother Ronald Isley, again, uh, it is great to see you, man. Um, I want to uh, slightly touch base on the fact of while you were away. Uh, I know that was a traumatic experience for, you, experience for you, but they say out of every experience comes something good. And um, what kind of words of uh, encouragement or advice could you render to, to those uh, to prevent them from possibly falling in the hole? Well, you know, it's, I, I, I would say uh, the young people that I, um, I met along the way and have feelings for today and um, I just, just you, you know, I just want to say that, say to them, and I know that that they want to say, don't do it, yeah. <laughs> don't do it. If, if it's anything that you're gonna do that's gonna keep you away from home or your family or your loved ones, you know, hey, don't do it. Especially if you're trying to, if they're trying to uh, decide on whether I should sell drugs or that type of thing. Especially that. But you know. It, you know, it's so hard these days. Uh, the, the peer pressure seems to be a lot more intensified now than when we were growing up. You're right. Uh, and, and I'm trying to find a way to encourage these young brothers as well to, uh, you know, refrain from doing that stuff. But when things are so easily accessible and, and they see the bigger picture, like, you know, they look at the videos and they see the bling and they see the cars, who doesn't want to live well? Oh, yeah. You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. But, uh, you know, in my situation was a, 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 a different situation, but I'm, you know, I'm just speaking of their situation. The bling and, and everything, it's not worth it. It's not worth it when you're going to be locked away. Uh, if, you, if you're going to be locked away from your family for one year or six months, you know, it's not still, it's not worth it, you know. Strong words from a strong man. Ronald Isley with us instead of kissing after dark. I gotta slip into uh, just came here to chill. Okay. Because that's exactly what we're doing tonight. We're chilling with the legend himself, Ronald Isley, inside of kissing after dark. We are uh, enjoying the element of the nightlife here in the city, and uh, who better to enjoy it with than a man who has probably been responsible for so many babies. I didn't do baby <laughs> count, but I know he's responsible. I know you're responsible for at least. Uh, at least 5,000 babies. <laughs> yeah, that's and, and that's just in one borough of, 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 of that's New York, man. That's what they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> His name is yeah. Ronald Isley. And just in case you just joined us tonight, you have a brand new CD coming out. Oh, yes. You're quite amped about it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so excited about this CD? Man? Because, you know, I think it's one of my best. You know, you know when you do uh, something that you think is better than the other, uh, uh, you know, you just can't wait to the people here. So you, you can get their opinion, you know, and I know this is one of our best. You have a song which you're about to play in just a moment before we let you go called No More. Uh-huh. Uh, how did this song come about? Uh, L.A. Reid picked this song and, uh, and he told me about it. You know, I thought I had everything, you know, the album was done. And so he picked this song and he, he was a lover of this record and he wanted me to do it so bad. And that's a, that, that's how that record that, that's how that record got in the album. Well, but everything else I picked. <laughs> got it. Now, do you still do a, a lot of writing these days? Oh yeah. So how much on, on this brand new CD did you write? Well, I, I helped uh, maybe three songs, okay. you know, and I had other people uh, to work, you know, work with me. Uh, 
but we st we set out to to you know make every song become like a single record uh, that they could play, you know, not just a, a song that would go in the album and that sounded good. We wanted every song to be at, could, to, you know could be like a single. Uh, that song that I did with Laura Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very special for me, and the song I did with Aretha Franklin, that, you know, I've been knowing Aretha Franklin since 1962, wow. and we've been talking about singing together. And now, this year, we're doing two songs. I did a song in her album, and she did a song in my album. And, uh, wow, well, in the record with T.I., that was su supposed to be our next single release. Really? And we were going to do a video together, and we we're going to we we're going to go on the road together and do so many things, man. And it's a setback for this thing to happen to him, you know. Yeah. And uh, and so I don't know where that's going to take the record. But uh, when I was away, I had this this song that I did called "What I Miss the Most," and mm -hmm. singing about my old lady and other things, you know. What I miss the most, and uh, when you hear it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Listen, I, I thought I could let you go, but I can't let you go. Man. I'm sorry, man. Please forgive me. I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, but let's go into the brand new single. Okay. This is called No More. It's from the forthcoming CD, which is coming out in November. We have him in our company tonight. It's Mr. Ron Reisley, baby. Inside of Kissing After Dark. <laughs> 